Hello guys. Happy Wednesday. Where are we at? Thursday. Thursday. Happy Thursday. Well, I'm excited because I'm actually here at the office. So I'm sorry I'm running a little bit late for today's live, but I always enjoy the time that I get to just play to create and demo and hi. say hi to Mindy. So I am actually taking over Mindy's office for a moment. Let me get set up, jump on, say hi, and let's get playing here. So if you're not familiar on these Wednesdays, um, every other Wednesdays, usually what I'll do is I'll just play to create. And Except it's Thursday. Oh gosh, Thursday. <laughs> We did change it because yesterday was crazy. So usually they are on Wednesdays. <laughs> this is why I'm so mixed up in my head. <laughs> um, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play to create with the designer templates and really focus on the first step that the designer templates um, that we produce here at Kiwi Lane uh, solve, which is the to help you come up with designs. And so instead of staring at an empty page, just playing with them and seeing what you can come up with. This kit, the reason why I have it out is the Let's Party. Um, kit that we did and this was back in boy last year right we did a special yeah, on these we, we recolored them for kiwi's birthday and we put it into the good old kiwi bright colors here um so i thought i would be demoing with this today because they were we just noticed in the the warehouse that we had a few extra kits There's so couple, yeah. um they're very similar to like how we design kiwi club kits but in this case it was just a variety kit that does come with designer templates and the paper that you see here uh there's only a few like i i mean well like eight or nine in the shop right now <laughs> that are left yeah. but i wanted to play with it for a moment and so we're going to be using this and in the sake of a play to create demonstration really what we need to get started is our background sheets so let me go ahead and grab two coordinating background sheets from this kit which this one of course has these two different options four options, four options but two options if you're doing a two-page layout no, four options. these options and the back side is option oh yes <laughs> from a color point yes <laughs> yes i'm like what there's four options lingo lingo language <laughs> Oh, girl. Okay, let me pull up the comments here, guys. I feel a little like, let's let's start creating. I love this cranberry. I'm going to go with that. That's so pretty. Let's go with the cranberry here. All right. Another thing I want to spotlight is the fun borders. We've been doing a lot of spotlighting of the fun borders. Um, you know, as we, if you have them, hopefully they're inspiring you to pull them out. A couple of the last crafting events with that was to... Um, I've been inspired. So many cool ideas that everyone's been sharing. It's awesome. But also, if you are a Kiwi Club member, uh, you can save another 10%, of course, off of your already club membership, 10% off that you already get on the um, fun borders only through tomorrow. And that's, of course, for club members on that deal. But if you have fun borders, we want to kind of just focus on those for a little bit. Um, so let me backtrack here for a moment. So Typically what I do to start playing to create, if I'm going to sit down for a scrapbook and I pull out my background sheets, which I did, and then I start to gather and, um, you know, different designs that I want to work with. And then I'm going to simply start playing. And the reason why the designer templates are so great for this phase of the creation process, specifically in scrapbooking, is because typically what... <laughs> I found myself doing and I'm sure other scrapbookers can relate um, or if you're new you get overwhelmed but basically you look at an empty page and you just keep hoping that something will come you know some kind of inspiration or something will spark and but really it's the movement and the uh, ability to get your senses involved your sight be able to visualize to to rearrange and to use your touch sensations and um, allow that to start flowing where a lot of the ideas come from. So you're going to see me do that here. So I'm just going to start playing with the designer templates and we're going to see what we can create. A lot of times I always go for a top bottom to kind of get things in motion. But like anything in creativity, once you start getting a few elements together, all that is, all creating is do is taking elements and rearranging them um, for something that <clears throat> pieces your eye, right? That allows you to kind of find a look that you like. 
sorry, I love large brackets. I kind of started with that. So sometimes it's not the first set that you pull out. Sometimes you got to mix and match a few. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out a border set here. This is Paisley Place on this one. So if you're not familiar, the borders do come with, this is one set here. And they do have um, three different sets or designs here. And each uh, design has a side A and a side B. So it matches up like this. And that way you can design a two page layout at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take one of the pairs and I'm gonna put one over on this side and one over here. So I wanted to just kind of throw that in because to highlight large brackets, I wanted to show you even more design options. I first started playing with them alone, but they were kind of, you know, I prefer to kind of layer and mix and match. And so being able to take, you know, in this case, the large brackets, one of the fun borders and layering them with our border category designer templates um, really kind of gives a new sense of design and feel and and fun and fun to your layout because that's why we call them fun borders um i kind of laugh at that because i remember what we we're trying to figure out what to call this category of different designer templates and the way that they operate and we were just like they're just fun <laughs> they're just fun simple as that. yeah it was just simple like that it was don't overthink it that's it so i don't know how many of you guys have large bracket but they're Oh my goodness, I was about to say they're a lot of fun. I'm going to say that a lot, I think. Natalie this said one. she has all the fun borders, but as she's seen people use them, she's been inspired to use them in new ways. So yeah, that's... like right off the bat, I'm, I'm going to stick with large brackets for a moment here. I agree, like so many different layering and techniques have been going on, and if you're looking for something to kind of spice up or, you know, I don't know, shift in your, in your um, way that you look at the borders, specifically fun borders, um, yeah, pull them out and just start playing with them. So even if we didn't want to throw in a border, I just wanted to kind of show that and to give you a full sense, and you're, are these your photo sets? You did warn me to get the templates out. <laughs> yeah. I'm using... There's some that have eyelets and some that don't, so it just kind of won't go on. Yes. Just give you like, so see how fun the, the, again, I'm sticking with the large brackets here, but they really give I, I, this structure and I love that about the large brackets. On that um I the reason why I pulled it down you can either extend these you know so that's something you would kind of make a mental note and that's kind of what I was doing or you can even say I'm just gonna put a strip straight across there um if you wanted the movements then like yeah sometimes I like to put the trail on the edge just to give it a, not a straight edge on the edge of the border oh yeah like a trail so another fun border like this? Across the, yeah, across the straight edge. So you have just a curve on that side. Not Ooh, another pop of color. Yeah. So that's cute. Or like we could tuck in if you wanted to do tuck. And now I'm going to pull in some accessories just to kind of go with this for a moment, right? You guys know me. I'm always like, well, I want to get the full visual. So let's just go ahead and say we're going to just piece that together. So you see this, this movement going on. And guys, that's all creation is doing. Creation is just taking elements, reorganize them, re adjust them, and playing with them and seeing what you can create and um, what catches your eye. So there's no wrong, there's no rhyme or reason, except for just allowing the freedom of play. So inviting that in and just seeing what you can do with them. But, okay, so let me throw in a couple. Well, let me spotlight the one that came in the kit, which is... The accessory party. Anybody have a birthday this month? How many March babies do we have out there? Curious. Um, since my daughter on Sunday, oh. sixteen. Wait, Rainy? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Sunday's her birthday, sixteen. I'm glad you told me. I would have felt awful. So I need to now figure out how to do something with her on Saturday. I'm leaving on Sunday, but well, thanks We're for the information. Yes, we are going to <laughs> breakfast. Um, yeah, so March, March, happy birthday to anyone that has a March. It's a good month. It's a lucky month, right? It's a lucky month. So sometimes simple embellishments, and I just want to give that full effect before I bounce to another accessory or another fun border, because like I said, I kind of wanted to showcase that, but, um, this is fun in this party accessory. So if you don't have this or you were not, 
like part of the Kiwi Lane community before when this party, um, this party accessory set, this was a limited edition. And like I said, they found a few more. I had them just go ahead and add it to the shop. And so make sure you go check out this party accessory set. Um, since once those were limited, so those aren't in the catalog per se, they were just a special that we did last year around this so time. Once they're gone, they're gone. Right. They're so just a few. they was really cute. And then of course they have different sketches on the back. So I'm throwing in some accessories just to give the full scope of the designing process, but yeah, there's nothing, you know, you could, you could layer, you could do as much as you want. You could focus, you can uh, stabilize a design. Like right away I was like, huh, maybe I want to give this little design a focus here. So maybe if you added a ring or just kept it a circle and then you kind of added that inside, right? So it just kind of brought in a little bit over here. See now, see, this is my problem. <laughs> I just keep playing. <laughs> I just keep going and seeing what else. And then I would probably balance it I bring a circle over here if I really wanted to bring in that extra layer. Again, keeping it simple. So, depending on your style and what a tr you're, you know, personally um, like to do, hopefully through this playing process, you saw the building up. So, if you're like, oh, I like that, and you love just where it was just some basic borders, then keep it really simple. If you're like, oh, I loved when she added in some fun borders, that really shifted, then then throw in some fun borders into your tools so that you can use that occasionally in your mixes of your designs. And then of course, the different combinations of accessories or layers depending on your personal needs and wants um, in the accessory app uh, category. So that's really cute. <laughs> this is my problem. I, I want to, to go phase, it I know, <laughs> this is why I would go to phase two. Phase two would be the trace and cutting and you would just pull out your coordinating paper and then simple. It's just a simple process at that point. But overall, this is really where in the designing process, um, if you allow yourself to just play with the designer templates, it really will speed up, save you a lot of time. But ultimately, it also gives you a lot of inspiration and ideas to just quickly kind of get to that point. And what I love about when I get done with that designing phase and you get into the tracing cutting, you hit, your mind hits the creative uh, flow state, which really what, what happens there is that your mind <laughs> goes from subconscious or conscious thinking to subconscious and you just start relaxing and enjoying the process. And I, I usually feel that right when I get past the designing phase, then I can start feeling my body kind of go, <sighs> okay, <laughs> put a movie on, do something, right? All right, let me showcase this last other fun, well, I don't know. Do you guys have one that you want me to play with? We have scallops, we have banners. And then in this case, I pulled out cedar trails, but there are a lot of different shapes and designs to trails, but each have their own, you know, respective design as far as a fun border goes on how you can use it. I really did love that. That touch of trail layered with that large bracket was really cute. Any takers? My choice? I see, yeah. We've seen a lot of people, as I was packaging some stuff today. Lots there of borders? a lot of banners and streamers going out today. Oh, a lot of banners and streamers. But a lot of people commented that they just bought large brackets, so they had a lot of fun seeing you do that. Oh, good. So, good. Um, Donna says banners. Okay, let's play with banners then. I'm going with it, Donna. So, I know a lot of people have banners coming in the mail. Okay, so. <laughs> well then, good. Sure, Hopefully more ideas. Trails. So, maybe mix banners with happy trails. There's oh. a challenge for you. Well, can you find happy trails for me in your in your chaos of... Yes, no. it's chaotic. And I, yes, I warned her because I knew it was chaotic. Okay, so some right off the bat, when I think of banners, I think of them being a great um, place for photos. So right off the bat, I'm always kind of um, drawn to to using them almost like as a design mat, right? So where you can kind of place your photos um, kind of on there. I'm just going to go with the mini photos here for a moment and see what we are attracted to. So Tiffany, what you're wanting to achieve there. Um, also, like say that, not finding that one. Um, little touches like if you wanted to keep this clean well let me throw in you know here so you can just add simple little 
extra touches on it. And sometimes you could do that. Again, it's all about being um, engaging your senses, your visual, your touch. Um, a lot of that's going to awaken that, that inner creator inside of you on a lot of those things. And um, sometimes, I guess my point what I was making, sometimes you can start from one section and say, okay, I really want to use banners. And then in this case, that was our first goal. And then say, okay, so now what am I, like I need to, st to continue to play, right? To see what else we can come up with. Um, we could even, I haven't done this. I'm going to, I'm going to just see, because again, banners is the focus. I saw Mary, she did two like that kind of general, like she didn't really use the borders or the frames. Um, but I was just thinking, what if you did like a shadow effect where kind of similar to you guys do with tags? Huh? Yeah. Like with tags mm -hmm. in that case, um, up here so right now i'm saying okay like there's some spot you know if you were doing a nice clean one pager maybe you would go for something like that or um do that but there is room to do something else here so other options we have we could definitely put in well we said happy trails right let's see what that's you guys are challenging me here let's do it <laughs> um let's say let's stick with our fun borders okay all right and then let me pull out. So fun borders, I showed you on the borders, the AB, but on the fun borders, um, they are designed, some of them, like the trails. In this case, when we say trails, it's the ones that kind of go along, you know, your page, like a path. <laughs> um, they're, they're different, of course, than like these banners. They're almost just like large accessories, right? They're like really big, um, usually uh, the length 11 inches or 12 inches of your page but these allow you to go ahead and trace you trace these three times and then you would cut once up the middle and that would help simplify that cut too but they're just a little bit different than of course the borders as far as the functioning of how you cut and trace those out but I'm going to go ahead and connect those see how this this wave continues here and it should do that on the happy trails if I remember correctly on both ends so either one as you, there's no rhyme or reason if you put the 3A here and the 3B there or, or vice versa on that one, it should work either way in this one. Okay, so motive is to kind of figure out how to use happy trails and the border. And honestly, sometimes if you want to give yourself a personal challenge, you know, say, you know what, I haven't used large bracket for a long time. And then you bring it in and you just kind of make it work and see where that, that creativity comes from as you just <clears throat> rearrange. Again, that's all creation is really, is just taking a moment, giving yourself a permission is the first step to just play. And then just giving yourself a time whether you set your alarm on your phone or something and just it's it's a judge free zone, right? Nothing like you haven't cut into anything. It's not permanent. Nothing's happened. Um, anything like this, guys, I've never done that before. <laughs> and thanks to your guys's like input, it's kind of fun. Let me throw in some other photos here. I'm going to keep that going for a moment and see where it takes us on this. Okay, because sometimes you need designs that add a lot of like pictures. I think I just made my next design for my next Kiwi Club sample. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm ahead of now the game here. Now they're asking for you to get out the paper. Right, I know it. They are because I get so involved in this. I'm like, oh, I'm 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 invested at this point, guys. This is good stuff. All right, so let me see another border. I'm making a lovely mess over here. Let's see. I'm, I'm going for it. Let's see where it takes us. And again, you want to kind of play around with the layers and see what maybe adjusting just again in the first step, the playing part. I would bring that all the way up. Tuck those in. You could do photos all the way across. I thought about doing that. Um, but then I thought, you know what, maybe breaking it up with a little bit of extra, um, 
you know, this is where my mind would go to some kind of an embellishment. Um, if you wanted to keep it simple in your embellishment, um, then that would be really good. I'm trying to think of like, well, let's stick to the party accessory since I kind of was focusing that. So, right, so I, I just felt like that might be nice to break that up for a moment, Yeah. you know? And then, and then at that point, <clears throat> you could just add a nice photo here. I mean, that's a lot of photos, but that just shows you that even if your if your motive or your goal was to see how much photos you can add, the great thing is you can still encompass a lot of those memories and, and photos, but still add that creativeness and expression. And then depending, of course, what paper you're using, um, you, it will just complement the memories in which you're highlighting as well. I mean, this again, every time I look at banners, I always think, a putting it needs a picture on it. <laughs> yeah, like I'm always like, oh, it needs a picture, but this will be really pretty. You could even put um, your title or journaling or something right there, and if, especially if you kept the the paper that you cut this out of, not a busy pattern, right? Mm -hmm. So keep it very simple in the pattern, um, in the different ways. So that's kind of fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with that. Okay, guys, I kept too long enough. Does anyone have any questions, Mindy? You see anything? Um, no, nope, they are just excited to get what they ordered because they are loving the... The bun borders? The page you did. Oh, good. So. <laughs> Banners and happy trails, guys. Who knew? And that wasn't even... That wasn't even... That was one design out of the many un endless possibilities, of course, as you rearrange and adjust. And then the this cell, or this set, the happy trail set, it came with the other three designs as well. We just used this one design, but I could tear this apart and do it again with the same exact templates and probably make 10 more layout designs, just utilize, utilizing what's on my table right now. Well, so Sharice wants to know if uh, we can bring back the mini borders. Oh, the mini borders. <laughs> we do get asked that, Sharice, a lot. We will have to do a survey and see how many people. I always smile when it comes out because the re only reason we uh, discontinued the mini borders is because they weren't really selling yeah. like we tried many times, but this was of course years back and we've of course grown a lot since then. And, um, so we, we, we will discuss it. We'll see what we could do for you on that. So, Oh, what do you keep your templates in Debbie? Um, so right now we have the storage cards. I'm going to take you guys for a ride since that's kind of the last question I saw and you get to see Mindy's, <laughs> but I messed. It's very similar to what I do as well, but yeah, so. So this, yeah. The storage cards we have in the shop, it have. really helps. But we also have the boxes if you're one that likes to go on the go, but this is actually. I say it's a mess because I need to organize like accessories, borders, so that I don't have to find, flip through That's everything. how I have mine organized. But yeah. I haven't done that yet, so that's I have, why it's a mess. I have my tiny, I've, I've heard other like creative partners in the community and just um, community members, you know, mentioned that, um, they, they'll organize them by like themes and designs. And I think that's great too. I think that's really it helpful. It is nice to be able to flip through them though. We are breaking, we are working on it. It's so, premature. I probably shouldn't say anything, yeah, probably <laughs> but we are working on another organizational, um, thing, but it's, it's in prototype still. So don't, uh, it's a process, you guys, everything's a process. So <laughs> we'll work on it, but Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to clean up my mess that I made in Mindy's desk here. And You're going to clean it up? Oh, just kidding. I'm not. She just said I didn't awesome. have to. No, I just assumed you'd go back to your meeting and leave the mess. <laughs> so. I'm excited to be here at the office. Usually I'm, uh, of course, over in Carolina as the office is here in Idaho. So it's fun to be with the team and stuff as well. But thanks for joining me for today's crafting event. And uh, we'll see you guys. Um, there's another fun one tomorrow. And we'll check in with you guys soon. All right. Bye now. Keep playing, keep creating, and keep connecting.